And uh, welcome back to CCTV News and we're bringing you special coverage on the surveillance of the South China Sea. We have made contact uh, with our reporter Zhang Nini who is travelling with one of the ships and uh, welcome Nini, good to have you with us. Just uh, explain the latest and how is everything going out there? Well hello and when the China Marine surveillance has continued to flow in the South China Sea and so far we have sailed about 1,600 nautical miles and right now we are in the central area of the Nanshan Island. And geographically, this uh, this part of the water belongs to China's territory. But during our patrol today, we have found some reefs and islands have already been occupied by foreign military forces. For example, when we passed the reef this morning, we can clearly see that there are both civilian military facilities there. And these reefs and caves were a group of rocks, sand, and coral before and uh, with most parts submerged. And yes, now they have been built with basic facilities to support life. And some of them are like a small town in the middle of the sea. And as we know, the China only stationed forces in eight of the Nanshan Islands and reefs, but the, but the places that we passed this morning are not included in this. And our patrol vessel sailed to about several nautical miles from these islands and reefs for the patrol officers to take photos and make video records. And one of their responsibilities is to watch out for any new developments in the islands and reefs. And they will write down what they saw and report it back to the state's Oceanic Administration before taking any further actions. And also the law enforcement member of the Marine Rights Union were in radio contact with these islands and reefs this morning to defend China's sovereignty. And they said that China has indisputable sovereignty over Nansha and Xisha Islands and the adjacent waters. And their existence here is illegal. And uh, right now we're continuing our patrol in this area and we're likely to remain in the disputed areas in, in the coming couple of days and I'll keep you updated at the Yes, Zhang Nini, before you go, is, is, there a, is there a feeling of tension out there? You say that the vessels of the foreign forces have been seen, but uh, what is generally the atmosphere like out there? And I don't mean, I don't mean the weather. <laughs> Well, clearly, some of the some of the uh, some of the adjacent countries have already sent more fishing vessels in, in into the South China Sea. And on, on our way here, we have twice encountered Vietnamese vessels, and also uh, they have. Uh, and and this afternoon, when we when we passed this reef, and we have we have seen some naval officers and soldiers from the Vietnamese side uh, stationed there, and they have also contacted us through the radio phone and to. Uh, Clearly, they have detected that we have a camera crew here, and they asked us to stop filming them. And uh, of course, the law enforcement members have uh, have defended China's China sovereignty. And uh, we didn't get quite close to these islands, but um, from from the past few incidents, and also from what we saw here, this tension is certainly not abating, Edwin. All right. Okay, Nini, many thanks indeed for updating us there. That's. Uh our correspondent Zhang Nini, who was on one of those vessels. 